Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm glad you're here. Um, this problem is one that you would probably find in your book or on a test the first two or three weeks of the school year. Um, the problem says find the value of the underlying digit in 32,654. This is really a place value problem. Um, it's asking us when, when a 2 is in this position, in this place, in this number, what's it worth? Okay, what's its value? Okay, because we know in our place value system that a number's value okay, can change depending on where it's at in that number. So let's go ahead and work this out. And I'm actually, actually going to work the same problem three different times um, because there are really three different ways that you might answer this problem, um, three different formats that you might answer this problem in. You'll need to check with your teacher um, as to which pro or which format that you need to use. But um, we'll start off first by copying the number down, 32,654. I'm not going to put the comma in when I copy it down because the comma is just something else that can get in my way. Now, when I put my answer down, I'll include the comma, but you know, right now the comma is just more, more stuff on the page to confuse me. So I'm going to come over here to my two, my underlying digit, and all I'm going to do is just copy that two right down below it, just like that. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll go to each one of these digits in the places to the right, and I'm going to convert or change each one of these digits to a zero. So I'll change this six to a zero, I'll change this five to a zero, and I'll change this four to a zero. And then I can go ahead and put my comma in there. And something that your teacher will love you to do is circle your answer. It just makes it easier to find on the paper. Okay? So the value of two, when it's in this place right here, is not two, it's two thousand. Okay? Now I'm going to work the problem again, but I'm going to give the answer um, in a slightly different format. All right, now we said that this is really just a place value problem, and this format we're going to use place value much more directly than we did um, a second ago. And I'm going to write my number. I'm, I'm writing it down low down here because I want to leave this space open up here so that can, so that I can put my place value names. All right, and I'll go right up here above the four, and we know that it's in the ones place, so I'll just put ones right here. My five is in the tens place. My six is in the hundreds place. My two is in the thousands place. And my three is in the ten thousands place. All right, and remember my two is the underlined digit. So all I have to do now is just look right here where the two is and look in the column right there that it's in. And I can see that my two is in the thousands column or the thousands place. So I'll just simply come down here and I'll write two thousands and circle my answer. All right, the third way to format my answer uses something called exponential notation. And I'll go ahead and spell that out. We're going to work this down in the lower left corner of the screen. Exponential notation requires some understanding um, and some background of a math skill, um, math work in something called exponents. Now, if, if You've not worked with exponents before. Uh, you may find some of this confusing. Um, 
Chances are, though, if you've never worked with exponents before, your teacher's probably not going to have you respond to this type of a problem using this format. But we'll go ahead and cover this. Okay. Again, working the same number. 32,654. Finding the value of that 2. And I'm going to start out like I did right up here the first time. I'm going to bring my 2 down. I'm going to change the digits to the right all to zeros. Okay. So that I find the value of 2 is 2,000. But now the trick is I have to go one more step. Okay, I have to convert this 2,000 to exponential notation. Okay, and to do that, I know that 2 or 2,000 can be written as 2 times 1,000. And now I need to write this 1,000 in exponent form. Okay, and since 1,000 is a power of 10 number, all I need to do is write the number 10 and count my zeros. I've got one, two, three zeros, so I'm going to put this to the third power. 1,000 can be written as 10 to the third power. And then I'll bring down my 2 in my multiplication symbol and then I'm going to circle my answer. Now you just heard me refer or use the term powers of 10. Okay, Powers of 10, if you've not worked with exponents, you probably don't, know, don't understand what powers of 10 means either. But powers of 10 is just a way to express the relationship between this 10,000, rather this 1,000, and this 10 to the power of 3. Okay. Um, I'll try to do a tutorial soon on, on powers of 10 that, that might help to help you better to understand this. All right, so we've got three different ways that we can answer this problem. We can answer it as 2,000, we can answer it as 2,000s, or we can answer it in exponential notation as 2 times 10 to the third power. All right, let me clear the screen and we'll work another problem. All right, this time the problem is asking us to find the value of the blue digit rather than the underlying digit. We're going to work it the same way and, and I've seen books that ask for the value of the green digit or the red digit. Um, I've seen books ask for the value of the circle digit. Okay, but you get the idea. And we'll go ahead and work this one out, and we'll work it out the um, finding our answer in the three different formats that we found a while ago. And we'll start by coming over here and let me erase that. Oh, that's kind of an ugly looking three right there. So we'll try we'll try this again here. We're going to write our number down: three million. 603,288 and I'm looking for the value of the blue digit well I don't want I don't want to trace over that with blue so I'll just underline the six all right. and then I'll bring down the six all the digits and the places to the right I'm going to convert to zeros now so Zero, I don't really have to change, it's already zero, so we'll just copy it down. I'll change this three to a zero, change this two to a zero, change this eight to a zero, and change this eight to a zero. And I'll put my commas in, or my comma, and circle my answer. All right, we'll, we'll work it out again using the second format. We'll copy the number down here. And then we'll go up above each number and we're going to write down the place values. Okay, this place value name would be the ones place. 
The 8 is in the tens place. This 2 is in the hundreds place. The 3 is in the thousands place. I'm going to shorten that. The 0 is in the ten thousands place. The 6 is in the hundred thousands place. And my 3 is in the millions place. And it's that 6 that I'm trying to find the value of. So I come right here and if I peek over this way, I see that my 6 is in the hundred thousands column. So I'll write my answer as 6 hundred thousands. And then let's circle our answer. All right, and finally, we're going to write our answer in exponential form, exponential notation. And we'll do that down here in the lower left again. So let's write the number out. 3,603,000. And let's write our 6 down. Let's change all of these numbers, all of these digits rather, to zeros. Now I know that I can write 6, 100,000 as 6 times 100,000. And now I just need to write this 100,000 as an exponent and using my powers of 10 I'll write 10, the number 10 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros so I'll put it to the 5th power we call that raising it to the 5th power and bring down my multiplication symbol bring down my 6 and circle my answer so all three of these are three different ways to correctly answer the same problem. Again, check with your teacher about which format that he or she prefers you to use. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have something that you'd like me to do a tutorial on, um, send me an email at last or Chris at gmail.com and I'll see what I can do. All right. Thank you.